This is an unboxing and review of this Ryobi Expanded 10 foot pole saw. Clearly I already opened it. It's just a little pruning chainsaw attachment that hooks up to the weed whacker. It's pretty cool. So it's got that attachment, like a four foot extension pole. That's cool. And uh, a strap. I'm working on pruning some of the trees in the yard, as you can see from wearing my yard work hat. Uh, got to a point where there's a few, oh dear. Look at that, I can't figure out how to run this camera deal. Um, gotten to the point where there's some parts of the branches I can't reach. Here's the weed whacker. Just hook it in right there and giddy up. I took the normal chainsaw and uh, cut all this up. There we go, it took me a few minutes to get this thing going where you need it. This is a uh, Hong Kong orchid. And if you saw the other video from the other day, you could see how much I've already taken off of it. But uh, I've got to trim those top branches. They're getting close to the power lines. Power company got all upset with me. Whatever, bear your lines, guys. But I want to trim this down here and give it a more rounded look. Um, can't quite reach that with the normal chainsaw. So we'll fire up this pole saw and see how it does. I bet it works pretty well. It's a cute little bugger. So the uh, saw comes with this uh, expanded bar oil. So I'm just gonna add the bar oil to the saw, connect it to the weed whacker, go to town. The bar oil is critical in a chainsaw, which this is virtually a little tiny chainsaw. Um, if you don't keep that lubricated, all the heat and grime that builds up, it's gonna bind the chain, maybe throw the chain, and you don't want that, that would not be cool. Okay, so the bar oil's in. Now, we just connect these. Oh dear. This puppy is super long. So I'm going to tighten that up. So I've got probably about 8 to 10 feet of extension on this now. And remember, it's a weed whacker. It's not a real chainsaw. But it'll cause as much damage as there is a chainsaw. Okay, let's fire it up. Okay, it starts and runs. Here's the monstrosity in its entirety. Let's see if we can get the whole deal in a picture here. Oh yeah, it's big. That's what she said. All right, let's fire it up and uh, I wanna run it a little bit, make sure that oil's getting on the bar and the chain. Then I'll go to town on those branches. All right. So it's the next day. I used uh, that little bitty chainsaw attachment and my real chainsaw to cut the majority of this. I got the really tall high branches off a ladder with that uh, Ryobi weed whacker chainsaw. It worked awesome. You know, there's a few that are still kind of crazy up there, but definitely brought this back to looking like a normal tree. I'm gonna let those grow and kind of see where they fill out, you know. I'm a bald guy and I don't like to trim too much, so 
That's my best bald guy joke. Fountain's working. Tree's kind of pruned. Now I gotta cut all this up, throw it in the pickup, and head to the dump. Oh, and I highly recommend that little chainsaw attachment. That thing's pretty awesome. Worked like a champ.